Ladies and gentlemen, I feel extremely fortunate to be joined today by, listen, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. I adore this woman. Canadian icon, Canadian royalty, the one, the only, Chantal Kraviacek. Chantal, how are you today? How are you, my friends? It's I'm doing fantastic. You. It is Thanks so good to eyes. see you. Oh, I know. <laughs> Anybody say uncle? Anyone say uncle? So, so first and foremost, how are you guys doing through, uh, through this new world? Well, it's tiring. It's exhausting. And um, I'm sure my family is incredibly sick of me. Um, it's just a lot, you know. But I think you have your, your, your – sometimes it's not even good days and bad days. Sometimes I think it's like good hours. And especially the moms out there will know what I'm talking about. Just the amount of the, the housework. It's interesting. I didn't ever seem to have this much housework before. We're home together. We, You know, it's not like – Oh, tonight we only have Luca home for dinner. We only have Sal. It's like, it's everybody, three meals a day, at home together. Um, why is there so much laundry? I still haven't figured this out. <laughs> why? Well, let me ask you this. Does this create the opportunity for I'm Gonna Break Your Heart 2, a sequel to your, <laughs> to your fantastic movie? <laughs> I don't know anyone would want to, I don't know if anyone would want to see that movie. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. it, it creates opportunities for a lot of creativity, and that is one of the silver linings. So that's good. Well, that was a very interesting point because we're in a time right now where we're seeing a lot of movies are being pushed back to either later this year or next year. We're seeing a lot of artists, uh, musical artists who are pushing their albums. But mm. then I come across um, Apple Music and sometimes I'm going to confess, sometimes I do random searches on you just to see because I know you're always so busy and I always know you've got like different collaborations right. and in the work. And then all of a sudden my, my prayers are answered. We get a new album that dropped very recently yeah. from you, so thank you so much for that. Oh, well, it, it was never, I, I, there was no way I was going to um, put it on the shelf again because it's been on the shelf for almost two years. Okay. Like, that's almost like movie levels. Like, movies movies are shelved for years at a time and mm -hmm. take years and years and years to come, to come to fruition. But this one taking this long was not something I was used to, but for a series of little, not a comedy of errors, but just a series of reasons I couldn't put the album out um, the way I normally would, which is make it and, you know, six or eight weeks later sort of thing. You can, you know, maybe 12 weeks you put the album out, you, you, you set it up and you put it out. But that was not to happen. So it was uh, for me, it was like no question. I was just I was going to I didn't really care if due to the climate out there, if it meant that, you know, the discovery of the album would be different or lesser or whatever it was going to be i was just like open to that because i just wanted to put it out there yeah no absolutely so not yeah. i'm and, and i'm very thankful and appreciative that you did because you're talking to a guy who's up early every morning going for walks and this is this has been added to my playlist so i so Yay! i thank you for that oh, um, I'm so glad. i really i really enjoyed the album um if, there, if I was to use one word to describe it, it would be, it would be raw. I thought it was a very, like, very, I mean, obviously your, your talent is on full display, whether it be your oh, vocals, you. whether it be, whether it be the songwriting itself, whether it be, of thank course, you. your, your maestro behind the, behind the piano. Um, tell, tell people about your new album. How would you, how would you describe it? Well, I think it was incredibly collaborative. It was very unjudging. It was very free, a very free to be, environment um it was very creative very um you know it wasn't overthought which was awesome uh dylan wiggins you guys shall check him out follow him support him he is like i think he's the future of like the music business he's one of the most talented human beings i've ever met or worked with young dude um from la um he comes from like a lineage of insanely important um american music um, I think it's his dad was in Tony, Tony, Tony. Oh, okay. And yeah, was the founding member of it, I think, or his uncle, like, like, like some of the credit, the, the credits in their background are just insane. So, um, and anyway, um, it was such a privilege to work with him because, you know, me, I have like a whole set of, of things that have been programmed in my brain for like how you make music and what the music business is. And then he's so young, so we could both benefit from each other our our my wisdom my experience but then his his coming from a completely different uh place lineage for generations and been shown how to do it in a totally different way and um and then also just his youth you know 
um, <clears throat> there was such a respect. He shows such respect. And I don't know that just the combination was a lot of fun. Rain was away. And I, when rain goes away, I get really creative. I'm like, okay, my husband's gone. My kids are at school. Let's go. Let's, let's do something with the time. Let's really use the time wisely. And I, th I feel like it's me time. That's me time. Mommy time. <laughs> and um, it's very rewarding. And I think that that's what this album is really about. It's, it's a bit cathartic. You hear songs like Wings where I'm kind of tongue in cheek, but like, like it's, I called it a raging lullaby. Like it's, it's mothers, you know, we have women, we have, we have a rage inside of us that we're always polite, you know, and this was me politely in my Wings Paul McCartney way um, getting some stuff out, you know, on the micro and on the macro. And it was, it was just, um, I don't know. It was, it was just such a pleasure. And I, God, I hope that he and I can do a, a, a second album together because, and, and you actually described it well. Like I did the writing, like a lot of the writing, um, all the lyrics are mine pretty much. Um, but he is a lot of stuff on this album, like shooting star. That's a, that's a, like a riff, a, like a kind of a track he was building. And I really liked it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I've never really worked on anything quite like this, but I really like it. And then off I went and found all these words that were very meaningful to me and melody to put on it. It was, it was really fun. Now I'm curious. So as you talk about kind of in terms of this, this album being had, had been created and then waiting to release it. So the chronology that, that, that I think of is you had hard <laughs> sale and like you had hard sale. And then of course, um, your, your wonderful collaboration with your husband yeah. versus son and, yeah. and, and now this new album. But is that how, how it got recorded? No, so it was hard, hard sale, moon versus, no, hard sale, um, moon versus sun may have been, no, hard, hard sale, I made this record, okay. moon versus sun. Okay. No, no, no. You know, I think it was Hard Sale, then Moon versus Sun, and then I made Get to You. Okay. But there was like time between when Moon versus Sun made the album, and I think Our Lady Peace made a record, so I had to wait or something. Okay. And then so I was like, okay, now they're on tour. I'm going to make an album and I'm going to put out an album. Then my album took too long on a few like technical things to put out. And we were ready to put out Moon vs. Sun. Mm -hmm. So we put out Moon vs. Sun. Then I made a holiday album. I put out a holiday album. Yes. And then I'm dropping this album. Yeah. So it's, um, it's crazy. I think it's like 2016 <laughs> Hard Sale, 2017 Moon vs. Sun was made. 2000. 18 I made get to you 2018 I put out um the moon versus sun project yeah 2019 I christmas made album. christmas album 2020 okay. put this out because I, I hear this and, and the, the instant comparison that it comes to my mind is like prince and how of course he's known for having this vault of music are you developing yeah. a vault Chantel? it feels like that <laughs> there is but my vault is weird my vault is a bit in my head and it's just like, I'm just going all over the place all the time. I think I am turning into that kind of a brain where there's just stuff all over. It's literally, there's just projects now. And I'll be like, oh God, I got to check in on this. And oh God, I got to call so-and-so. They probably think I've dropped the ball. And oh boy, I better respond to somebody about that. And oh, I've got to finish this song with so-and-so. Like, it's just, it's, it's a lot of insanity, to be honest with you. And I don't know how the hell I keep up with it. And I really need a vacation. But in a strange way, I think sometimes I have to like take a step out and go, wait, that kind of is a vacation. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, mm -hmm. it's not horrible. It's just that I also just amid all that got a puppy and oh. I don't sleep at night very well. So I don't know what I was thinking, but she's really sweet. It's like, dude, seriously, somebody, somebody throws another thing at me. Like I'm just going to sink. <laughs> what, what kind of dog do you guys get? Um, we got this dog called a wire haired Griffin pointer and okay. thankfully like rain is absolutely not allergic to her, which is just like unbelievable. It's amazing. And she loves, she's new wifey. She loves her daddy. Nice. What's her name? Yeah. Her name is Stella. Stella. Okay. That's wonderful. Wonderful. So now, Luna's Luna kind of, look at, here's Luna right here. Luna's always with me wherever I go. Oh. So now, yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, it's insanity. She is my <laughs> shadow. Honest to God, I can't even brush my teeth or go to the bathroom. I almost step on her all the time. She's always with me. Even, even if I'm stopping somewhere for two seconds, she goes where I am, lays down. <laughs> it's like she's protecting the bodies. Yeah. But Gotta now make sure everybody's okay. Okay. Yeah, making well, just me. She's so into me. So yeah. anyway, yeah, very sweet. We love our peaches. That's awesome. Now, yeah. one of the things that is 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 so clear is that you you love music. You've been consistently making music for years, whether it be your own or or different collaborations sure. or what have you. Yeah. What what keeps that passion going for you? Because it's not just the fact that you're making music consistently, it's you're making really good music consistently. Well, that's, that's subjective, and I appreciate your opinion. Um, you know, I, I have to owe that. Uh, it's kind of like taste making, right? It's like it's, the skills are there, and, and, and obviously it's very natural to make music, but it's like these choices we make as artists or choices, note selection and melodies and textures and topics. And it's, it's, it's like, you know, it's, it's this amazing colliding of your, your political point of view of, you know, your growth as a, as a person, um, you know, uh, your development in your life. Um, you know, I, I like to, you know, I like to say that my life has turned into a walking classroom. So, you know, I'm always learning. I'm always curious. I'm always, um, sharing and listening and I'm open. So I'm, I'm always bringing all those things into the fold. And, um, and so, you know, the music is, it's very natural for it to just like want to come out. But I think that, 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 that the reason why, you know, I say it's subjective and it's like, you, you're, you're very kind and complimenting my choices as, as a person as an artist, that's what's coming through, right? It's, mm -hmm. um, um, it's reflecting what is happening in my spiritual, my spiritual experience here as a human being, right? That's, that's what music really is. Um, so that's what I find really interesting. Like I, I said to myself, like I think yesterday, you know, it'll be really interesting to see what I do for my next album. You know, and that interests me. It does. I'm curious. Like, where, where will I be as a human being? What's going to be reflecting back out into the world? That's what's exciting. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things that you've been doing during this period is that you've been you've been doing, I guess, live live music sessions, for lack of a better term. I guess I don't even know if I would mini concerts. Maybe you might say where for for uh, for a while now you've been jumping on Instagram live and you've been performing songs and. And engaging with engaging yeah. with your audience. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah, It felt really like um, I think for me very therapeutic mm -hmm. uh, when COVID. For, there was eight weeks straight where I was on almost every day at four p.m. and yeah. it was a lot. And then, you know, it didn't feel quite right to go on all the time anymore. I felt the ethos sort of overwhelmed by um, you know Instagram lives, and mm -hmm. um, it wasn't feeling. I don't want you to say I wasn't feeling special anymore, but it just it changed, you know, the dynamics changed. Even Instagram had to change their format uh, to make sure that people were being paid for live streams. And then they like, you know, my son and I would drive home and we just turn on the live and like blare the songs we were listening to on the way home. Well, Instagram would bump us off if we were playing, you know, if there was a copyright infringement and, you know, all these other things came into play and I get that, but it just, it just changed. Um, and then, and then now there's this platform called Juju Live. So okay. I'm, I'm enjoying doing, I'm going to do my second Juju Live concert on Sunday. Okay. Um, and it's in celebration of the album. So I'll be playing some new songs from the album. And, um, you know, I, I like the idea of switching up the format, switching up the, 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 the arena, the forum and the venue or whatever, and the platform and just um, breathing new life, right? Into, into my, my space. So, um, uh, you know, the neat thing about Juju is like, it's, it's not a full form concert. It's only a short form concert. And so it, it only, you know, it don't, the, the charge is reflected in, in the length of the concert and, um, it's something that we can do often because it's really not expensive to buy a ticket. It's only like five bucks or something. Yeah. And, um, and it feels a little more formal. Okay. The IG live was starting to feel like at this point, why don't I just invite everybody to the toilet with me too? You know, <laughs> like here, 
here it is. I, I don't know. I just, it was just starting to feel a little, not ghetto, but just like, I don't know. I don't think there's anything to hide. I'm a very open and transparent person. It's not like I have, you know, I'm a pretty open book, but yeah. um, it just felt like, hold on a second. Like I'm a professional, you know, piano yeah. playing singer girl. And I want to do that and it be special. And um, not all the time, not all the time, but just sometimes. Yeah. There, and there are some people who refer to you as, as a Canadian icon. Let's not forget that. Oh. Um, so Thanks. one of the things that I absolutely adore and appreciate you above and beyond the fact that you are exceptionally talented is the fact, not only the fact that you've always been extremely kind and generous with your time with myself, but I've always appreciated that you are very comfortable using your voice um, sure. in terms of talking about, talking out about uh, issues that, that concern you. Right. Um, so right. I wanted to get, uh, of course, we are all still reeling and trying to make sense of this senseless, uh, senseless death of, of, of George Floyd. And that has sparked a really um, uh, strong conversation uh, yeah. around uh, 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 the, the Black Lives Matter movement, for example, and uh, just an overall conversation about, about racism. And um, I, I really appreciate that that dialogue is happening. I know that at times it can be an uncomfortable conversation for some but I think it's a conversation that's still very important that 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 we're having and I wanted to get to uh, get get your opinion on uh, on the situation that's going on in the states right now and and, and also here here in yeah Canada. no I mean I I <laughs> there was a guy the other day that posted that um I can't say I think all the words but he posted a picture of of my album cover and he said cancel this white privileged so I called him I said can I remember yeah, because the danger now is like my white privilege can be used as a weapon against me. But that's not even, like I could cry. That just made me sad. I wasn't even angry. I wasn't. I was like, oh, yo, he doesn't know me. Yeah. So we got on the phone and he was so he was actually very sweet and funny. I don't know what I asked him, you know, if you cancel me. Wh what ha how have we done better? Like, how have we gotten closer to what we all want? Like, I'm on your side, you know. And it was a really interesting conversation. Um, we actually had it through voice, voice, voice notes. And yeah. uh, he, ended up, he ended up posting another one saying, yo, I love this woman. And it was all, this whole thing only took like 10 minutes, five, 10, 15 minutes. Like it was so quick. But what I found interesting was that I shared with him that I come from genocide on both of my sides of my family. Mm -hmm. On my dad's side, I come from a long run of Stalin, you know, mm -hmm. and the Holodomor and, and Ukrainians being killed. And trust me, that was in my house. That was in my house. That was in the nervous system of my home. But on my mom's side, I come from genocide in, you know, Indigenous Peoples Canada, mm -hmm. where I am Métis. So on my mom's side, my grandmother was almost as dark-skinned as you. Mm -hmm. Okay? My beautiful, beautiful, beautiful woman. My grandmother on her deathbed, I was holding her hands. I said, Grandma, you're so beautiful. Look at your skin. It's just beautiful. You know, I'm... You know, I have a little bit of it. I'm a little golden like her, but she was, you know. Mm -hmm. And all of my aunts and uncles are visibly um, marginalized. They, are vis they have a visible um, um, plight, you know, from their history. Um, and, and so almost all my aunts and uncles. And so, and I know, and, and they're wonderful. Um, but I know also what that has been for them. I have a cousin who was found in a ditch in Salt Creek, Manitoba, and she's on the more pure native side where my, my great, my, my grandmother's sister married an indigenous man. So, so my grandmother married a white man, but she, my auntie Sarah married, married a native man. And so, you know, they had, a, they had that whole thing on both sides of their family and there wasn't as much education and opportunities and there wasn't any white privilege at all. So it's hard for me to have the conversation because for someone to turn around and assume something about me when I've had a different vantage point. I think one of the points I'm trying to make in conversations is that human beings all come here and we have a unique experience as spiritual beings. We all do. And I think um, we can't blanket statement about anyone on either side. Nobody can blanket statement about anybody. And we have to be a little bit situational. And in order to in order to communicate better, right? And and we need repair, and and we do. I mean, you know, the buck has to stop somewhere, and someone does have to take some responsibility. 
Um, I'm not seeing that in America proper, and I'm, I'm hoping that people will vote so that there can be some responsibility taken. Yeah. The, really, I mean, in therapy, we learn, like someone, someone has to somewhere say, okay, I get where I got all of this toxicity from. I get where I got all of these horrible uh, models from. You know, people have racism in them. Mm-hmm. Okay, but we know better now. So we have, to, we have to be able to take responsibility somewhere and say, it stops with me. Mm-hmm. And we have to break cycles, right? Absolutely. So, right. So there are, my, my fear right now is that, you know, we have to really pump up education, pump up healthy communication, pump up taking responsibility, um, reassuring one another reassuring one another um, because I'm scared a little bit that, that these assumptions can keep getting made. And then the next thing you know, we're going to be brewing some dangerous race stuff, you know, and that, that frightens me. Um, we do need a healer as a leader right now in America. Um, someone very intentional, someone caring, someone really educated, mm-hmm. truly educated, truly uh, someone who has, um, who is qualified for such a position of leadership. And I look forward to people going out and voting and that being reflected in their votes in November. Mm -hmm. And my hope is that some healing will begin. Um, And, um, and that it all stops. I want it to stop. I really do. And I'm so sad. Um, for George Floyd, for his daughter. I'm so sad for the Brooks family. We just found out that they're, the, the murderer, the, the police officer has been charged with murder. Um, and this is justice, you know, somewhere in there is also justice and that's part of taking responsibility, so. Yeah, I, I will say, I am sorry that you went through that, that episode with that individual on social media. I do I, find- I'm, so- I'm not though, I'm not sorry about that because but you I, know what? You know what, though, Keith, you know what was amazing about it? You know what really blew my mind about it? You were able to create a dialogue? Absolutely. Yeah. That's what it was. And what was so beautiful about it is it didn't even take long. He heard yeah. me. You use your voice. Don't at people. Don't yeah. at people. Don't hide behind. If you want to talk, talk to people. Share your story. Use your voice. That's how we get somewhere adding people no this is not healthy yeah. communication this is not healthy communication so we have to choose use our, our best tools right now and make really conscious decisions for how we're going to come together and how we're going to make peace with each other this is really so i was so pleased that that happened because it was like that oh okay he, he was like yo you're matey Woo-hoo! <laughs> He loves, he's like, I love those people. I mess with those people. I was like, okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that was, that was amazing. Good, good. Well, I'm glad that you were able to, 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 to find some positive out of that situation. That's what it's I don't all like about. Like people, I don't like people being mean to my friend Chantel Kraviatsk. Like, I don't, I'm not gonna, I don't like that. But I'm glad that you're able to resolve it and diffuse it. He, you know, he might've been mean, but you know what he also was? He was also open. Yeah. That same passion that he had for coming at it he had the same passion for fixing and being open and, 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 you know, being curious and listening. Mm-hmm. And, you know? and I think that's such an important part uh, of this in terms of having conversations, Yes. getting people to the table and having conversations and, and, and creating awareness because the same way several years ago, there were a lot of people who, who were not, um, who were not uh, aware. Oh, did I lose you? No, you didn't. Oh, I'm there. Okay. I'm just turning on my low battery power. Okay. Okay. The same way that we were that uh, a lot of people weren't aware of, of of a lot of the situations that women were being put through in the workplace. That's that, that, that created is, that created like me two times that's... up is the same thing. Same way that there are a lot of people who aren't who aren't aware of the issues that are going on with yes. racism. So having but those conversations know, is, helps that. This is the thing that I find really interesting. I didn't even bring up the fact with this fella. Like, hey, by the way, I'm a chick. Like, do you have any idea what that looks like? Yeah. <laughs> like I've, always been, I've always been pretty mum about, you know, my experiences and kept it as classy as I can. But you think I don't have some uh, stories in the tickle trunk about what it's like being a woman? Oh, come on. Seriously? So w- women are really strong. Um, but even for us, I mean, we, we've had enough. 
we've had enough, time's up, and now we have this issue. So this issue that we are all rightfully coming at, it doesn't cancel out the need to stay on the other issue of you know women uh, being marginalized. Um, so, whew, you know, I have a really hard time with the Karens thing, uh, the, the, the ignorant women, because now I'm bashing women. I mean, the things I've seen women doing and saying, they're horrific. And it makes me so sad because those are my sisters. Really, ladies? Come on, man. Like, wow. I don't know. There's just so much rage. And um, I posted today that we have to, we have to commit, you know, almost, um, we have to believe in the idea. Uh, it's a bit altruistic, obvi, but believe in the idea and commit to the concept that we were, we came from love. We came from love, you know, and if we can, if we can believe that we were born into love of love, that um, we can be love everywhere we turn, we can be love. You know, when I called that gentleman, um, I was love. I had, I didn't have an ounce of anger or meanness or hate in me. I genuinely am on his side. So it was so easy for me to speak to the issues. So other times it may be more challenging. I've had another situation or two that I won't get into right now where I, I was at my back went up a little bit more, you know? Um, and, and you've got to just really, really like, you know, dial yourself into the love and the compassion and understand that like we aren't, we don't sync up. And one of the flaws of our designs, we don't sync up like weird avatar, you know, we're not digitally synced to each other where, I can just stick in my brain and my DNA can just float into your, like we don't understand each other's story in the brain that way. So we have to be patient. I always say love is slow. So you have to take the time with each other um, and be patient through it. Fair, fair. And I appreciate that perspective. I really do. And I think people need to hear that. Um, Chantel, as we wrap this up, Normally, I take you through something called rapid fire. We've done rapid fire several times. This time, as I mentioned to you, you I am can't a... do that. Do rapid fire because if you're going to ask me songs, I I don't can't help you right now. I mean, I'm just going to name songs that come to my mind. I was going to ask you for a, a playlist from you, but if you uh -huh. don't want to do a playlist, because I'm 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 thinking instead of listening to what Spotify or Apple Music and those wonderful platforms tell me, I want to come right to the source and you tell me like some of the songs of yours that should be on everybody's Chantel Kravyasek playlist, mm. but. We can, but what's the other option? The other option is I'll 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 throw out some rapid fire to you, uh, to you right now. But okay, uh, try that. Let's see. How <laughs> it goes. If it's not going well, I'll go back to the music thing. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, we are in. Uh, I'm not going to do the favorite movie and all that stuff because we've done that before. So I'm going to go with this. We are in a quarantine world right now where people okay. are binge watching tons of shows. What have you been binge watching Woo! that you want to recommend? That's a good one. Okay. okay. Last night I watched the Lenny Cook documentary. It is so good. Okay. Oh my gosh, Lenny Cook has turned into a hero of mine. I was DMing him. I hope he DMs me back. <laughs> what platform anyway, was that on? Um, I watched it on Amazon, but that okay. posted, and someone said that it, they couldn't watch it on Amazon Canada. But oh. I think if you look it up, you might. Uh, when I first looked up the doc, it listed a bunch of platforms it was on. So hopefully you can find it um, somewhere in the, the Canadian. Um, scene landscape on another platform check okay but it is so good um it ripped my my heart out um as a mom as a basketball mom um especially looking at where we are right now like you know it really put you into the thick of it you know it really really did it just moved my soul um okay and then um we we've, we've watched a lot of the ray donovans now except ray donovan gets where it's like you're kind of done after season i don't know we watched uh, finally watched the end of broadchurch which i love broadchurch have you watched broadchurch i haven't it's good it's really I good it's rain and i like our british um um, freaking series. I don't know why they just pop up from time to time. He finds a good British series and we watch it. Um, okay. What else? 
we really liked the, um, we watched a little bit of the Lance Armstrong one, but we didn't really like that one very much. But, and we, and we watched the Jordan one. It was pretty last dance. It was pretty good. Um, you, did you see the capture? That's a British show that's on Amazon. Um, Ooh. It's very good. It's did kind of like about, enemy yeah. of the state meets the fugitive. Oh, very good. Great. Eight episodes. Did you, watch the, did you watch the guardian? That one? I didn't. Yeah. That's really good. That's, okay. that's really, really good. Um, but that was a while ago. That's a good one. And then there's also, my kids were watching the Outer Banks. Did you yeah. hear about the Outer Banks? Yeah. yeah. So that was cute. I'm glad they had something to binge for a second there. Okay. Um, okay. So what else? We've had a couple of other things. Oh, well, of course, the Ozark series. Was Love so Ozark. Good. And when Barry comes back, I will be binging. I will, I'll do 12 hours straight of Barry. Forget it. Okay. I love I it. It's one of my favorite shows ever. I have to confess, I think, of, although I think Jason Bateman and Lauren Linney are fantastic, Julia uh -huh. Garner's performance of Ruth absolutely steals every scene in Ozark. It's so good. She's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I think, it's, I think it's cast really, really well, like generally speaking. And I really buy into environment. Um, like Bloodline. Oh, my God, I love Bloodline. Oh, um, what's the other one? Oh, crap, 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 crap. The one that they're, they're basically the um, – I can't believe I can't remember the name of it. They're basically – the Murdoch family, but in New York. Oh, Succession? Yeah, Succession's really good, too. Yeah. That's really good. Um, yeah, so I think those are, those are kind of some of them that we've yeah. been on. That's a yeah. solid list. That is a yeah, solid yeah. list. Okay, um, during this COVID time, a lot of people are discovering, like, new culinary skills. Are there new meals that you're, that you're trying out? Honestly, Rain's just taken over because right. I'm doing so much of the other stuff. Like I do certain meals, like it's, it's, you know, my tikka masala or, you know, if I was going to do a stew or a soup or like roast something, but he's been doing most of the, uh, the evening, like cooking, you know, opening up the barbecue, cooking the salmon or doing the pasta. He does it. He does, he does a lot of you know, pasta with rapini and has okay. certain dishes that we like, or we do taco night. I mean, you know, uh, yeah, we, it's, it's, it's a bit of a well-oiled machine over here now that way. I like that. I like that. Now, of course we know that you are a basketball mom. Has your game gotten better, worse, or stayed no. the same? No, the kids got to a certain age where I was like completely useless because they're so <laughs> good. So I just watch it's done. <laughs> it's over. Okay. Do it's you over. play video games with them? No. Okay. No, I don't ever want to go down that thing because I loved, don't tell them, but I loved video games when I was little. I will not tell so, them. So, oh my God. So I, don't, I just don't want to get into a thing where I start like actually playing and then I was like, oh, now it's all cool. Because I'm not down with the video games. I'm like okay. the video game, like, like Reaper. Okay. The Fair. grim video game Reaper. Yeah, I don't think moms game. should be in support of it. I'm just not about it. Unless they're taking <laughs> it on as a job and they're actually going to like pursue it there's so much they should be doing. And so I, I'm generally annoyed. <laughs> okay, fair. No more video game questions for you. Okay. Um, I want to be cognizant of your time. I want to say thank you so much for taking the time out of your schedule to chat with me. It is always a pleasure to chat with you. I don't know if I've ever told you this before. There are three artists um, that whenever they would, they would come uh, anywhere close to Ottawa, I have to go and see them regardless of what I'm doing. The late great Prince, you two, and yourself. I absolutely adore you, and I wish you continued success. I thank you so much for, 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 for taking the time to, uh, to, to chat with me today. It means a lot. You know what? There's a few people. There's a few people in this town, Keith. <laughs> you're one of them. You, Rudy Blair, there's a couple. If you ever call me, you need something, you want me to help out or, or with any campaign or cause or, uh, you know, um, I would just always be there for you. You're such a class act. and um, you know, you're one of, you're one of Canada's really, really special humans and you, you really, um, uh, emit what it means to me to be, you know, an evolved human, a great Canadian, an amazing citizen of the world. And I'm really proud to know you. I, I feel the same way about you. I absolutely adore you. All the best to you and the family. The new album is, is Get To You. It is on, available on all the streaming services. You've got a concert coming up this Sunday, you said? Yeah, on Juju uh, Live. Yeah. on Juju Live that the wonderful people can check out. So we're going to make sure we promote that as well. Thank um, you. All the best. Stay safe. And I look forward to talking with you soon. Absolutely, Keith. Anytime. Great to see your face.